Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to talk to you about my first 30 minutes with Tableau and how that experience is gonna help you learn faster. If you're new here, my name's Andy Crable. I've been using Tableau since 2007. I created this channel to share tips and tricks to help you learn better. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about three things. First, the problem I was trying to solve in that first 30 minutes. Second, the business and personal impact that had. And third, the things you can learn from that experience. The day it all happened, I was working at Coca-Cola, sitting in my car at lunchtime, reading the book 48 Days to the Work You Love. The idea behind that book was to create two lists, one of things that you're really passionate about and a second one of the things you're really good at. And then try to find the overlap of those two things and make that your career. Later that day, the director in our group asked me to create a dashboard. That dashboard was gonna compare the budgets that the revenue management gave to the sales teams and the plans the sales teams were creating to meet those budgets. But what was a dashboard? I had no idea. I did what any great data analyst would do. I turned to Google. I typed in dashboard software and Tableau was the first thing that came up. I downloaded Tableau 3.0. This was actually the first version of Tableau that had dashboards. I watched their first few videos, created my first dashboard and I was completely done with the project in 30 minutes. I was totally blown away and I became hooked on Tableau. Two to three hours of my time every day was spent just updating these spreadsheets. It was painful. It made conversations very difficult between the sales teams and a revenue management team. We needed a solution, and that's where Tableau came in. It allowed us to build charts and graphs really, really quickly. I just built simple things like bar charts and line charts, and if I was feeling a bit crazy, I even built a heat map. Tableau allowed us to conduct analysis faster. We could answer questions from anybody quicker than we ever could before. We also now had one source of truth and the communication between the sales teams and the revenue management teams improved immensely. My designs were terrible, but I didn't really care because the job was done and I actually didn't even know any better. For me personally, I found what I loved to do. Using Tableau was fun. It became a hobby of mine. In fact, I got invited to speak at the very first Tableau conference in 2008. I met some of my lifelong friends there. Four of us met together shortly after the conference and started the first ever Tableau user group. Fast forward a few years and I started Makeover Monday and Workout Wednesday, the first two community projects. I wanted to build that profile that I thought would help me get that next job. We all start somewhere. I was terrible when I started. My designs were horrific, but I got better because I practiced, I practiced, and I practiced some more. If I can do this, you can too. To get there, there's a few really easy things you can do, but you can't take any shortcuts. You have to work hard. Here are some simple things you can do to get better. Create a profile. That might be visualizations you build on Tableau Public. It might be speaking at user groups. It might be writing a blog. Any of those things are gonna look great on your portfolio. Seek out projects that interest you. Practice, find data sets you're interested in. Do anything you can to get better. Lastly, I think it's really important that you talk to your boss about the things that you love to do. Tell them about the impact that you can have on the business. Follow my advice and I bet you'll be off to a much faster start than I was. Remember, I'm gonna tell you one more time. There are no shortcuts. It takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. No one is an expert. We're all constantly learning. Check out this playlist where I show you how I use Tableau. And don't forget to hit subscribe. I post videos every week and I don't want you to miss any of them.